goes to John Jones after he was shoved by Daniel Cormier through several blows. The backdrop got taken down, and there you have it. That took place this afternoon at the MGM Grand Garden Casino. And speaking for the first time since that throwdown, Daniel Cormier and John Jones joining us from Las Vegas. Thank you, gentlemen, for being on SportsCenter. John, I'll start with you first. What exactly happened from your perspective today? You know what, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, give an apology to the MGM Grand and all the fans, all the kids who saw that. So fake. Down. It's so fake. Um, definitely not proud of what happened today, but um, uh, what happened was uh, we had a face-off, and in the UFC it's very common to see two athletes get very close in their face-offs. Um, our heads touch, our nose rubs together. It's a very uh, intimate, uh, very, uh, very... Uh, very passionate moment for a lot of fighters. I've actually never had a fighter put his hands on me uh, by squeezing my throat. Um, I reacted in self-defense by um, beating up Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, what's your take? I have actually never heard a fight get described as intimate and passionate. I have no idea what John Dummy Jones is talking about. Um, first off, you're right, people do get close to each other, but they don't put their head against yours and nudge you forward. In my lifetime, I will never, ever allow a man, I don't care if it's Mike Tyson in his prime, I don't care if it's Vladimir Klitschko, no one will ever nudge me forward with their head and not expect a reaction. I have a son. I will teach my son not to allow anyone to bully him. John Jones will never bully me. John Jones is apologizing. Hey, I'm glad he apologized. I apologize for our actions, but it's so fake. Thanks. John Jones, he's a fake individual. He's a fake person, and I'm going to beat him up on September 27th. Now, where does this stem from? Obviously, you guys have had some bad blood dating back a while. Uh, from what I understand, Daniel, John Jones did not know that you were a two-time U.S. Olympian, and that rubbed you the wrong way when you met him several years ago. No, that's... You know what, Todd? That's the problem. That is not what that stems from. I didn't expect John Jones to know who I was in his Olympian. I don't expect John Jones to know any wrestlers. He was the guy that was coming up to be the UFC champion. What I said was, how do you break the ice by insulting someone? That's the only problem I had. It was the first time him and I ever interacted. He walked up to me, he's a very tall individual. He looked down on me and started to make derogatory comments towards me, talking about he could take me down easy and stuff and all this other stuff. You look like a wrestler. I'm like, you don't even know who I am, guy. Like, you don't even know me. Why would you start conversation by being rude? Like, that was the issue. That's the issue between John and I. A am I gonna get an opportunity to tell what I felt happened? Sure, go ahead. You can talk now, son. Uh, so, what ha happened was, I, uh, I was introduced to Daniel Cormier behind uh, the stage uh, when, uh, let's see, Cain Velasquez fought against, I'm not sure who he fought, Brock Lesnar, I think the fight was, and someone introduced Daniel as uh, uh, Cain Velasquez's wrestling coach. I walked up to him trying to be polite. I said, hey, what's up, man? I hear you're a wrestler. And he's like, yeah, I wrestled on the wrestling scene for a while. And I said, oh, man, that's really cool. And I was like, you know what? I bet you I could take you down. It was, you know, honestly, it was my way of trying to start a new friendship, a new relationship. Um, and uh, right away, he's just like, oh, I'm this Olympic great wrestler. And, you know, his ego and his pride was just through the roof. And uh, he took it way out of context, way out of, uh, and it made it this huge personal thing. And ever since then, he's had this personal vendetta against me. And um, I, I find it very immature of him to, to take the situation. Seeing that I'm taller than him and I look down on him, <laughs> it, it just all sounds silly. I, honestly, it was my way of reaching out and trying to create a new friendship. Well, John, you're being very polite now, but on Twitter just moments ago, you had some very pointed things to say to DC. Uh, one of your tweets said, put some mm -hmm. ice on that face. You've got lots of interviews tomorrow. <laughs> I put you on your back in six seconds this afternoon. Where was your takedown defense? That doesn't seem like the kind of persona mm -hmm. you're projecting right now. Oh, no, because these things are uh, were factual. You know, we did get in a little scuffle just now. Daniel Cormier being an Olympic-level wrestler, I thought it would be a lot harder to get him to the floor. Um, <laughs> and sure enough, uh, if you look up the videos that I'm not very proud of, um, he was the one getting off his back, and people were pulling me off the top of him. So, um, so yeah, that's what I said, and, and, and it's true. Daniel will give you the final word as we wrap up this interview. You're getting ready to take on John Jones September 27th. I guess, uh, did you learn anything about his fighting style this afternoon in those 20 seconds? Well, I mean, first off, uh, 
what I want to say is this voice that John Jones is talking in, you guys should have heard him two minutes ago. I mean, what in the world is this? This guy's such a fake human being. He's a fake individual. Uh, I, I don't care to learn anything about John Jones that I don't know. Uh, the whole incident, I don't care about the incident. I care about September 27th, becoming the UFC light heavyweight champion. Uh, it, 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 whatever, he's weak. He, he's, he's, a, he's a punk. He's a liar. He's, a, he's, he's dishonest. He's a whole bunch of things that, that he should not be proud of being. Well, he's also the champion. You'll try and change that on September 27th. Thank you both men for joining not us. Not for long. Good luck in September at UFC 178. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you guys for having us. I'll tell you what, Todd, their tension isn't fake. Boy, John Jones could be a, an actor. He's a professional. He did not lose his cool there. Daniel Cormier replacing the injured Alexander Gustafson in the light heavyweight title fight against Jones. Jones has won 11 straight fights dating back to December of 2009. Cormier boasts an unblemished career record in 15 fights. However, Jones owns a huge reach advantage and is eight years his junior. I cannot wait. Yes, he's taller. We know that. He looks down on his opponents. <laughs> All right, some afternoon baseball giants.